All right, in this video, I'm gonna give you three quick tips to have a successful general store with Shopify dropshipping. And this is actually gonna be the first video of a new series I'm launching. I'll be doing this about every week to two weeks where I come out and I do a short video giving you really quick tips in pretty much all aspects of e-commerce. I've got about 200 videos on this channel, 200 detailed long videos on this channel directly related to e-commerce and dropshipping. Pretty much every topic you can imagine, I've got a video going in depth on it from Facebook ads to niche selection to branding, pretty much everything. I've got very specific details on this channel, but these quick short videos are going to be in response to the coaching calls I have throughout the week and then questions coming from members of the Dropship Fortune program. These uh, short videos are meant to essentially allow you to get quick tips on the go and then from there you can go ahead and seek out some more of the, the longer detailed videos. But these are meant to be reminders and then quick tips to help you be more successful with Shopify dropshipping or e-commerce as a whole. So today's quick tip video is for general store owners. If you're thinking about starting a general store, you already have a dropshipping general store, this video is gonna be for you. And these three tips should be reminders and then tips on how you can be more successful with your general store. But before we get into it, if you guys could please do me a huge favor, please help the engagement on the video by smashing the like button down below, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and definitely leave any comments or questions down below. I love going ahead and connecting with you, answering any questions you guys have. All right, so the first tip I have for you for a successful general store is you need to focus on organization. The thing that specific niches have and mid-level niche stores and even one product stores, the thing they have going for them that really wor works for them is they have just a, an inherent level of branding that general stores don't have. General stores seem just more like a generic store that has very little branding and with that comes a lot of times a lack of consumer trust. And you need that consumer trust to be able to make sales. A lot of people think it's just if you get the right product, you're gonna have a ton of sales and while product is extremely important, if you don't have the right store set up in place and the right consumer trust in place, it doesn't matter how good your product is, you're going to be either one, never finding success, or two, you will be missing out on a ton of sales. So this is where organization comes in. This is the biggest mistake I see with general store owners is general store owners essentially don't have good organization in place. You need to go ahead, you need to look up other general stores that are pulling in huge numbers. Even look at stores like Walmart. Look at the big general stores out there, even the inventory held general stores, and see how they're doing things. This really comes down to, you know, you need to go ahead and put your collections together in a very organized way. You need to have clear niches in place. The thing with a general store is yet you, you can have pretty much every type of product on there, but you need it organized in a specific way. Most general stores I go on to of beginners Essentially, I'll go on there and their homepage is just random products all over the place. They'll have kitchen products right next to gadgets, right next to apparel. You need these separated. One, you want the, the customers to be able to find what they're looking for in a very quick and easy manner. But then two, you don't want a customer landing on your store and having no clue what you truly offer. That's where a customer is going to view you as a scam. And we've talked about other videos on this channel about how with Facebook marketing in particular, a lot of Facebook users are getting tired with um, the general store approach because they're coming off big time as scams now. This is where you need to have that organization in place. You'll have that consumer trust and you'll have the branding. So the biggest um, tip I can give you with this is put products in certain collections in very, very, very clear niches, um, and then really have a powerful homepage. You need a powerful homepage. You don't want just you know a good logo with a good header photo, but then you've got just all your products, just random products down on that homepage. You want to go ahead and, and exactly show the customer right off the bat what you offer, what type of store you are, who you are, and then you have your certain collections in place, your certain niches in place, that then the customers can go to. And on there, obviously, you'll have your best sellers. If you've got decent or winning products, you want to highlight those, but you also want to have you know, all your niches in place. That way, customers can easily find what they're looking for. The second tip I have for you for a successful general store is you need to add more products. Almost every general store I go to, 
they don't have enough products. You know, a lot of general store owners I go to, the, the general stores will have around 50 products, you know, maybe 100 products. If you have a general store, what you're signing up for is that you are having a lot of products. Look at Walmart. Do they just have 50 products or 100 products? They've got thousands of products. And this is where you can capitalize on compared to a specific niche brand store, a mid-level niche brand store, or a, a one product brand store. You can have a lot of products and make it work. And that's what you need to do. You need to have a lot more products than what you think. One, you need to have several niches on your general store and you need to have them filled out. Don't go ahead and have you know, gadgets and have that completely filled out, a great product line in there, and then have home goods and have three products in there. You need every niche and collection really, really filled out. That's one for consumer trust and then branding in itself. Um, but then two, you want to go ahead and capitalize on cross sales and upsells. I can't tell you how many times myself, members of the Dropship Fortune program, and then many successful people I know in this space, I can't tell you how many times they found decent or winning products by the customer data. Essentially by driving traffic to their store and then customers going off the product page from whatever product they were advertising and buying another product or through a cross sell and upsell. You'll find so many decent and winning products from the traffic just going throughout your store. And this goes back to point number one, if you don't have that organization, you're not gonna have that. You're gonna have your traffic going to your product page and then they'll go to your homepage and drop off. And you can see this with your Google Analytics and I highly suggest you be really, really diving deep into your Google an Analytics knowing exactly what pages people are dropping off. But you want people to essentially go from your product page if they don't buy right there, you want them to go to the homepage, go to all other products and then buy other products on there. And they're going to tip you off on products you should then test on Facebook ads or with Google ads or whatever. You're gonna have cross sales and upsells and then other products just sell and those are decent and winning products that you should test. Tip number three I have for successful general stores is actually a little bit more of an advanced strategy. This is once you actually start getting sales, you, start, you, you find a decent or winning product, you need to go ahead and think about whether you should go ahead and niche down to a mid-level niche, a specific niche or one product, uh, one product store. Not every time. I know so many owners that they only do general stores and that's great, that can work out great, but there's so many products out there that if you go ahead and you build a specific niche store, a brand store, even one product store around that product, that decent product will now be one of those golden winners. And I've had this before. Way back in the day, I had a mid-level niche store that had many different types of specific niches on there and I found a product in one specific niche that started to work. And my whole plan was just to you know, keep selling on this mid-level niche store, really try to um, expand it out, and I started finding that other products related to that product in that specific niche also started selling with cross-sells and upsells. And I kept really trying to sell, and I was, I was having a decent profit margin, but then I decided to go ahead and make a specific niche store around that very specific niche. Once I did this, this decent winning product, it was a good product, it was profitable working out in this mid-level niche store, became a golden winner on this specific niche store. And then from there, I got way more cross-sells, upsells, all of that. If you're a general store owner and you find out you've got a decent product and it's not one of these just kind of like trending, um, you know, viral products that then die out, it's not just one of those you know, kind of trending random products like a gadget or something like that. If it's a, a product that seems like it's in a very specific niche, say, you know, for example, like a sunglasses niche, say you find a product like that, that you can build a brand store around, a specific niche store around, you might want to go ahead and test doing that. And it's not hard to then build up a specific niche store around that niche um, and then start marketing those products. You already are going to know um, exactly who to target it to and all of that. But many times when you do that and you move over from a general store to the specific niche store, um, your sales will go through the roof. And then you still have your general store in place to still be testing other products. And not every time you'll want to do this. This is only when it makes sense for that product in particular um, to actually make a, a specific niche store around that. But don't be blinded from that and don't essentially cancel that option out because I've seen so many general store owners, they get so obsessed with the general store idea that they want nothing to do with a brand store. But many times if you, you take the right product to a brand store, you can absolutely dominate. But only do this once you've actually found out that the, the product is really, really working on your general store. And if it makes sense, 
go ahead and make it a brand store. But these were three quick tips for you. If you're a general store owner or um, you're thinking about starting a general store, definitely take heed of these three tips. These are um, three things that I see that are very, very common with general store owners with Shopify dropshipping. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this series, um, definitely leave a like down below and definitely leave any comments. If you want me to do you know, three quick tips for um, whatever type of store you have or Facebook ads or whatever it is, definitely leave a comment down below and I can definitely add that to the list for this series. Um, I definitely enjoy doing these for you guys, but definitely smash the like button down below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely leave any comments or questions. I love going ahead and connecting with all of you. Be happy, be positive, be powerful, and have a great rest of your day.